In this video, I'd like to talk about some of the differences between Solid Edge and Solid Works when it comes to drawings. The first thing is that Solid Edge users tend to use the term draft instead of drawing. You also need to know how to use templates and in particular the drawing background or the format as SolidWorks calls it. Solid Edge templates do not have a special file extension. Part templates use the part extension, that's star.par, and drawing or draft templates use a draft template, star.dft. Templates are saved by default in the Solid Edge install directory. That's generally C, Program Files, Siemens, Solid Edge 2024, slash template. The best way to create a new template is to start with an existing drawing that is as close as possible to the settings, styles, and standards that you will want to use in your drawings. Make adjustments as needed to all of the options settings, such as line types, sheet size, background, title block, and so on. Then make sure that the existing views are removed from the sheet and use Save As to save into the appropriate template folder. If the document is not saved into a template folder, it cannot be used as a template. The location of the folder is the main difference between a regular drawing and a drawing template. Default templates are set in Options, Helpers, Set Default Templates. This only looks in the path mentioned above for the template files. Let's start by creating a simple drawing of this part. Go to the New drop-down in Quick Access and select Drawing of Active Model. Browse to your list of templates or use one of the existing defaults. There are several different standard templates. Before clicking OK, you can select if you want the software to create three standard views for you or if you want to start with the front view and project your own views. I've selected to create the standard views and Solid Edge automatically creates three standard projected views for me. To make sure that the drawing is set up properly, there are two places to go. The first one is the Quick Access Menu Options. This dialog has many things that you as a new user need to set up, including units, dimension style, edge display, drawing standards, and annotation. CAD administrators in particular, you need to go through all of the options on these pages and get things set up according to your company or customer's standards. The second place you need to visit is Sheet Setup. Access this by right-clicking on the Sheet 1 tab in the bottom left-hand corner. The two things that you want to get set up in here are the sheet size and the standards. You want also to set up your default sheet scale and then also take a look and make sure that the background is proper. The background is equivalent to the drawing format in SolidWorks language. Solid Edge comes with a list of default sheet backgrounds for the A, B, C, and D sizes. You can create your own or copy one from an existing drawing of a size and format that you prefer to use. Once you have this set up the way you want it, click on OK. Some people like automatic dimensioning and some choose to manually dimension their drawings because the dimensions they use to create a model are not necessarily the same as the dimensions that you'd use to create a new drawing. On this drawing, I want to use existing model dimensions, and I can get those from the Retrieved Dimensions tool. Even though this is a synchronous model, Solid Edge can still pull the dimensions from the model onto the drawing. Follow the prompts on the prompt bar. It's asking us to click on a drawing view, so click here. Solid Edge puts the appropriate dimensions in place. We'll also click here to add other dimensions into another view. There may be some dimensions such as this slot which weren't used in the model and may need to be created manually. I may also want to get some additional views. The Principal View tool is like the Projected View tool in SolidWorks. This will allow us to create the primary view and project views from that. I'm going to use this isometric view and then move it out of the way. For an auxiliary view, you start by drawing a line from which you project the view. This view already has an angled line, so I'm going to select that and project from that line. 
you can move around the rest of the views to make sure that things aren't running into one another on the sheet. From here, we can make a section view, but a section view in Solid Edge requires a cutting plane first, and a cutting plane in turn requires just a straight line. So let's click on the cutting plane, click on a view that we want to cut, and then draw the line and close the cutting plane. Establish the direction of the cut and then create the section view from the cutting plane. This view is aligned to the parent view and we can only move it up and down with respect to that view. If you want to move the view somewhere else, right click inside the view and turn off maintain alignment and then you can move the view somewhere else. The next type of view is the broken out section view. The first step is to select the view that you want to create the broken out section view from and then Solid Edge is looking for us to create a closed profile sketch. Once you have your closed sketch, then we close the broken out section button and we choose a depth from another view. So I want to go through the midpoint of the slot and then we need to apply this cut to a particular view. I'll select the isometric view to apply. If you want to alter the sketch for the broken out section, that's a little tricky and maybe not obvious. We start out by right clicking on the cut view, go to properties, and within this dialog, we select show broken out section views, then click OK. That will bring this view back. By selecting the view, we can go to modify profile and this allows us to make an edit and then again close the broken out section view. The update views command bar allows us to do many things. Lock the position of the view, use the model colors, change various view properties, change the scale of the view, showing the caption and edit other properties. You can't edit the 3D model from the 2D drawing in Solid Edge, but what you can do is access the model by double clicking the part in the view and bringing up the model dimensions and making your edit from there. Then you edit the part dimension and tab back to the drawing. Solid Edge recognizes that there are some changes to the drawing view. So you click on the update drawing views and the dimension tracker shows you exactly what has been changed with this particular update. Thanks for watching.